strongest fragrances for every budget. Number 10, Gucci Guilty Eau de Toilette. Will not make this list, but I have it in this hand to show you that if you like fragrances that smell mass appealing, you will like this, but you won't like this. This is a level two Gucci. It's called Gucci Guilty Absolute, and that's the one that makes the list. One of the strongest, if not the strongest Gucci Guilty out there. Does it smell like this? Absolutely not. It's completely different. If you are new to fragrances and you like the brand name Gucci and you've heard of Gucci Guilty and you're a beginner, you get the Eau de Toilette. It only lasts four hours. If you're daring and bold or you're a fragrance aficionado or a fragrance enthusiast, you get Gucci Guilty Absolute. It's got leather in it. It's got some earthy notes. It's so strong. It reminds me of Killian's Dark Lord. It's very, very dark, spicy, and lasts eternally in the cold weather. Leather, it cuts it out like butter. Number nine, Loam EDL Lintense, a cherry vanilla almond note with some chili notes in it for spice. I to was told that Jacques Bogart makes a fragrance that smells similar. If you are familiar with that, comment down below. Number eight, Javinci Gentleman Eau de Parfum. You have patchouli, vanilla, iris, and it's a floral oriental with a touch of black pepper. It's so sexy, so long lasting, you can wear it all day long. It smells so good. Should I wear it today? And I'm gonna show you something else. Mancera Red Tobacco, wet, sweet, honey tobacco with cinnamon and other different spices inside it. It is so strong, so masculine. It reminds me of very red, just hardcore masculine spice fragrances that project. A lot of girls don't like it. A lot of men love it. They love the dry down. Maybe eight hours later you'll get compliments, but it's a beast mode fragrance for sure. Next one is so appealing. It's called Replica by the Fireplace. It simply smells like a smoky fireplace. It's sweet and delicious with so good and appealing and unique. By the way, I'd like to give out a uh, See our website, we sell these little samples. So today, I'm gonna give out whispers in the library because I only had this much left, which is about six millimeters. And I'll give away a whole entire full red tobacco. If you want that, just let me know in the comments and you're gonna hit the like button and be a subscriber as well. Let's get this list moving. Let's get this thing up to a thousand likes. Next fragrance, Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Johnny Depp's on the face of it. What does this have? It has a Szechuan pepper note. It has Ambroxan, it has citruses. It's darker than regular Sauvage, more grown up. And all that means is if you're 20, you like Sauvage. Maybe you're 25, you're gonna switch to that. The age between 20 and 25 is quite a big difference. When I hit 25, I was like, man, I'm old. So yeah, 25 is mature. Also, it lasts an hour and a half longer than Eau de Toilette, but they're both good. Your Sauvage is fired. Now we're gonna get to a little bit of out of the budget, but you can still find them in scent sprayers. Grand Soir, sexy amber vanilla that you have to wash off to get off. It's as simple as that. It's so nice, so, so it's like a dessert. I can't even explain it. It smells so good, projects like crazy and it just makes your heart raise. Here's another one. Kirk Dijon's Oud Satin Mood. Three, four different kinds of roses. Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, Oud Wood, all mixed together. One spray lasts one day, to tell you the truth. Oh my God, it's so deep and rich. Now we're gonna give you the number one fragrance and then we're gonna give you two bonuses. This is called Yves Saint Laurent Le Parfum. The Parfum is apple ginger. It's like Eau de Parfum. It lasts just as long, if not longer, than the Eau de Parfum, but it's also a little bit harder to find, and I like it when they're exclusive like that. I did put the links down below. And Le Parfum, it's a little bit more darker fougere style fragrance that lasts. Should I wear this today? <sighs> I think I'm gonna wear that uh, Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum, but here's the bonus. If you want Oud mixed with Mir, the most elegant, sexiest, creamiest fragrance. Crown Sultan. Find this fragrance. I don't know how you're gonna find it. Get yourself a sample, because the bottles are like 400 bucks. This thing is the bomb. My God, you've got oud and fruit, sandalwood, mirror. Oh, smells so good, it makes my heart beat. It smells so delicious. It's like, I can't even, it's so addictive. And here's a special bonus. 
Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mail. <laughs> you thought I was going to say Ultra Mail? Wrong. We got Le Mail Lessance. Another one that I have noticed falling off market. Keep your eye out for Le Mail Lessance. So very long lasting, opens up leathery and spicy, dries down soft and powdery. It's very mass appealing. If you like videos like this, check this video out and check this video out. Peace and love.